What's good everyone, it's Steve from Sneaker Tech Talk, I'm back with another video today. For today's video, I did wanna cover the top five reasons why the Adidas AE1 is currently selling so well. So without further ado, let's check it out. All right, so none of these are in a specific order, but if there is a number one reason, it would be Anthony Edwards himself and the Timberwolves season that they are actually having kind of at the top of the heap as far as the conference goes itself. Now, Anthony Edwards himself is having an amazing season. He is averaging 26.4 points per game, 5.3 rebounds and five assists. So obviously in my opinion, if he wasn't having a standout year, I don't think this shoe would be selling quite as well as it is, but he is an all-star caliber player and he's having a great season. Also, his team is kind of at the top of the Western Conference. So I think these are all reasons why, or at least one of the reasons why this signature shoe from Adidas is selling so well. The number two reason why the Adidas AE1 is selling so well currently is the price point in my opinion. At $120 US, $160 here in Canada, Adidas really threw all of their tech features in this signature shoe for his first signature shoe at that. And this shoe right here, what you're getting for your bang for your buck is just amazing. It's more or less the exact same price as the Nike Jaw 1. And this shoe performance wise, absolutely trumps the Nike Jaw 1 in my opinion. You're getting that full length jet boost. You have a shank plate in the bottom. The traction is amazing, the fit's great, not to mention the aesthetics of the shoe. All of these things for that $120 price point are definitely reasons why this shoe is selling so well, and quite frankly, at least here in Canada, why they can't keep these on the shelves. The third reason, in my opinion, why the Adidas AE1 is doing so well right now is the cushion in this model. Now, typically, with a $120 basketball shoe, you're getting a very basic setup from most brands, but Adidas really threw the kitchen sink at this shoe right here. So what you're getting inside of this shoe is full length Jet Boost. And you might ask yourself, what is Jet Boost compared to regular Boost? The pebbles themselves are just a lot smaller so they can fit more within this midsole and a bouncy feeling at that. So as far as this cushion setup in the back of the shoe, it's very plush. It offers an insane impact protection at the back while offering that springy feeling. And then in the forefoot, it does taper out to be quite a bit thinner. It is very comfortable up front still, but you're getting a ton of court feel here in the Adidas AE1. That would be like Nike putting full length Zoom Air in a $120 basketball shoe. You're never gonna see that from that brand. I love Nike, but their basketball shoes priced around that $120 price point. You're getting like a basic file on, and if you're lucky, a large volume Zoom Air bag in the forefoot. That's not the case in the Adidas AE1, and that's the third reason why I think this shoe is selling so well here in 2024. The fourth reason why the Adidas AE1 is selling so well is the aesthetics, in my opinion. For a first signature shoe, the looks of the shoe are absolutely amazing. It is more of a mid-top basketball shoe, but this ankle color here is very much non-existent as far as offering any ankle support or support at that. But the overall aesthetics of the shoe with this side pattern here, with this rubberized kind of material wrapping up, how it is perforated or has kind of that honeycomb pattern here on the side of the shoe, it just looks amazing and it has functionality. It offers support and underneath that is a mesh material that offers a ton of breathability here on the lateral and on the medial side. And then at the back of the shoe, that's really the only branding that you're getting on the shoe. So it's very minimalistic as far as the branding goes, but I just think it's such a clean looking shoe. Not to mention the 3M hits on this model right here. Some of the other colorways do have some suede or nubuck at the toe. But for me, the fourth reason why this shoe is selling so well is the overall aesthetics because I actually think this is the best looking signature shoe out on the market right now. And then the fifth reason why this shoe is selling so well has another thing to do with performance, and that would be the overall traction pattern on this shoe right here. Whether it's a translucent outsole or a solid rubber outsole, it does not matter. This traction pattern is tried and true. It is a full length herringbone traction pattern, as you can see right here. And this traction pattern does a fantastic job on clean floors and dirty floors alike really no issues. I am looking forward to trying these outdoors here in spring and summer here in 2024, but as far as indoors go, you're not going to have any issues. 
Dirty floors, you might have to wipe every four or five minutes. But my experience as far as the traction goes in the Adidas AE1, it's actually the top traction here in 2024, in my opinion. As far as I'm concerned, Adidas is absolutely killing it here in 2024 with their performance basketball shoes. So that's gonna do it for today's video. I did wanna cover why Adidas and the AE1 is selling so well here in 2024. Another thing is, is my local malls are only getting about one to two size runs per store, per colorway that is coming out. So that's not a ton of pairs of a model that is a debut model and just people in general, when I've showed up to grab these pairs, there's actually a lineup outside the store waiting for an Adidas basketball shoe. I can't remember the last time that has happened for a signature athlete with Adidas. It's also happening with James Harden and his new Harden volume eight right now. So all things considered, Adidas is absolutely killing it when it comes to their performance basketball shoes here. Like I said, that's gonna do it for today's video. As always, if you guys could like, comment, and subscribe, that definitely helps the channel a ton. And check out my Instagram over at Sneaker Tech Talk as it is an extension of my YouTube channel with all my pickups, basketball footage, and nostalgia as a whole. As always, thanks for watching today's video, and until next time, peace.